Reverend Samuel L. Green Jr. Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of Kid Zone, the Christian education moment designed for the entire family. In the beginning, God created. One of the practices that I do every year is to try to reset, and reorganize, to think about, to start anew, to reflect, to meditate, do all these things to help me be able to center and remember who I am as a child of God. As we're celebrating Black history, we recognize and remember Bishop Allen. God gave him a vision for a people to be able to move into a space where they can celebrate and worship God. And so Bishop Richard Allen and others founded the Free African Society in order to empower each other, in order to lift each other up. We've been honoring women all month long and celebrating their wonderful achievements to our world and our society and to our church. We are particularly excited because we have been honoring women here in the 7th Episcopal District in South Carolina. I want to draw your attention and point out and highlight someone by the name of Lynette Yusin, who is a fifth generation basket weaver from a Gullah community in South Carolina. There are so many people who are doing extraordinary work in our community. It is important to remember the women who paved the way for you. Let me tell you first thing, that you don't have to compromise who you are in order to get where you're trying to go. It is Resurrection Sunday, the day that we celebrate and remember our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ getting up from the grave, um, saying no to Satan and evil, that it will not have the last say, and that um, the crucifixion would not be the end. We celebrate these holidays and remembrances in different ways and they all find sacredness and value and it helps us to center ourselves and remember the reasons why we are Christian. And when Jesus exited that dark room in that space, he helped us to understand that sometimes we will be in spaces where we feel isolated and alone. As much as we think that dark rooms and spaces are just us and we're by ourselves, we're not alone. He is risen. He is risen. God created us all to be in relationship. And when you know that you're designed or God has created us to be in relationship with each other, we can think differently about ourselves and about the people that we are with. Whoa, we have been experiencing extremely hot weather lately. I don't know. Everybody <laughs> um, across the United States and many places across the globe have been impacted by this weather, we need to do what we need to um, do and to stay cool, to stay hydrated. I am a fan of Mickey Mouse and Disney World and one of the great things that they had at Disney World, um, at Epcot in particular, was an Imagineering um, workshop in school and we were able to learn about what it was like to imagine um, a future, to change the world, to change our situation, and to use the power of our brain. The scripture tells us to let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. And the mind of Christ is one that was imaginative. What it means to really see the way Jesus sees. Um, during Jesus' ministry and life on earth, he was so radical, releasing the power within the greatest gift that God has given to you is your life. Jesus decided anyway to heal people on the Sabbath because they were in need. What would it look like if we decided to um, ignore a need in our community? If we continue to ignore that, then we are not doing what Jesus did. And Jesus in the text teaches us that we ought to treat our neighbors as ourselves. And I see people who are living unsheltered and unhoused and are experiencing um, situations of homelessness. I ask you to study, not just by yourself, but alongside your family, and to think about what are the issues that are happening in our communities and what is the cause of them and what God is calling us to do to show up in the world. There have been many people who have suffered adversity and resilience. Harriet Tubman, um, Oprah Winfrey, Martin Luther King Jr. But as you can also know about the former president of South Africa, Mr. Nelson Mandela. He was resilient in that jail cell. He still wrote, he still kept his mind, stayed sharp, kept his mind, stayed on the mission. 
I wonder if you ask yourself the question, is this bringing me joy? Is it bringing me happiness? Is it helping me? Well, during the holiday season, I wonder if you can find time for both and find time for yourself and also find time to be of service to other people. Love. There's so many different ways to think about love. The love that you have for your brother or your sister. Jesus is love. I love you. Reverend Sam loves you and there's nothing that you can do about it. See you again next time. Holla.